You asked me whether or not I liked flowers before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't answer you back then, but I'll tell you now. The lifespan of a flower is extremely short. But in that brief moment in time, it lives with all of its might. I... Gardenia? She's like dying or something, right? Oh, make a wish. Gardenia is what's happening here. Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Outbreak. Oh, part three of a part four series. We're not that far into part three. We still got quite a ways to go, I'm sure. Not 100% sure. But we, we did just start playing this game like last week, so. I don't think we made it very far. I'm enjoying it so far. It's a lot of <clears throat> story filler in the beginning, which is fine because I like the story in this game so far. Um, I'm hoping at some point because I know that we get Orca available to us, and I want to say before part four, we get Orca available to us. Uh, he's so far behind on levels. <laughs> it's really the only thing. I'm afraid that when we finally get access to him, he's just going to be so backed up on uh, not leveling up. Uh, we lost Mistral as being usable because she's a housewife. But we have, we do have a lot of characters, I will say. And the way that they go about using some of these characters, instead of like sticking to where you have a favorite three and you just use them through the entire game series, they kind of force you to have to use certain characters. And I like that they do that. Because I have played role-playing games where you have hundreds of characters to choose from and you just wind up picking like a handful and being this is my rotation, this is the characters who I like to use, and a lot of the roster is like not being used at all. So the fact that they kind of do this rotation, make certain characters not available, that sort of stuff, I like that they do that. Anyways, without further ado, let's get in the game. We got some mail to check from Wise Man, again with no subjects. Assuming that the source of the infection... <laughs> Assuming that the source of the infection is the cursed wave, our best course of action is to run a jamming program in the area where the wave is believed to exist and stop the spread. We'll need help as assistance for this. Head over to Netslum. I've also found the keywords that will take you directly to Pulsating Truth's Core. So now we have a net code that we can just get directly to net slum. I'm not sure, but we're not actually going to do what Wiseman just told us to do. We have so many different areas in our word list that we're going to be running through and doing them. And it's all in this area. Let's see. Dolores Promised Clavicle. It's an area that we are invited to by Gardenia. So we're about to go on a Gardenia quest to Dolores Promised Clavicle. Uh, let me go ahead and party up. Let's go get Gardenia. Level 53. It's you. I'm on my way. There it is. And who's going to be the other? Who's going to be the lucky person to join us? Uh, let's see. Everyone, 53. Wiseman's at 52. Can I use Wiseman? Why, hello there. 
Give me just a moment. I'll be right there. We can't. He's gonna wind up, him and Elk are gonna be our designated wave masters, but I haven't seen Elk in a while and I don't think he messaged us that first time around, so I don't think we have access to Elk this time around. Uh, this is the save. Might as well. I don't know why I talked to you. We don't talk to these NPCs. I'm gonna have to go do some equipping for, I think, both characters. I don't believe I used Wiseman yet. Uh, on an adventure. So let me go do some trading and some equipment adjusting. And I'll be right back. And we're back. Managed to get everybody set up. They're not completely at level 60 equipment, but they are at better equipment than what they had when I first invited them. So we should be okay with where we're going. I actually even checked the level to where we're going. Level 55. Oh, it's a thunder place. We don't hardly ever go to thunder places. Uh, they are lower level than 55, but go in here. We're just gonna get experience on the field. We're gonna level up. We may even find some better equipment for them to use, for me to use. And, uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Here we go. Trading is like the biggest part of this game. I think it's the longest part of this game that I, that I do. It's raining. Uh, got my Ferris orb. We got a spring here as well. This looks like some grunty food, some, some cordyceps. Oh no, those are Mandragora. Let's go fight a thing. Curious what they have here. What, what will we encounter in the Thunder Area? Uh, Sled Dog King. Skills, everybody. Skills. Nice. Oh, wow. Gardenia got, uh, really badly damaged. Didn't even notice. Just have Wiseman first aid. Oh, my God. There we go. It's gonna get all of us. I am. Oh my god. And again. I am. And I didn't strengthen everybody. Right as I get into a field, that's something that we should be doing. Alright, fun times. So wasted a, a fortune wire on that. Alright. Well, you know how this works. One portal down. I'm going to bring you back when we get to the last portal and when we go to visit the spring. So, I'll be right back. This... Did you lose a golden axe? Or was it a silver axe? Level four. Oh, we get something good, but it's what? storming here. I think it's gonna make one? the item worse. Hmm. Let's see. Then is it this? Till next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, boss. Hmm. Yeah. Did this item get weaker? I thought that would happen. I should have known better, but I still wanted to use it. Yeah, it went from being level 39 to a level 37. But hey, he can actually affect items of that level, so let's start getting some stronger stuff. Just gotta play the field a bit. If it's raining, don't use it the best weapon, just use something else. Things on 
this field. It's pretty hard. There's a giant tortoise with physical defense, so we can't damage him physically, and Gardania wants to go up there and just pound away on it. And then, um... We got this giant Colossus from Elden Ring looking machine that increases its attack. Okay, it's the wrong, wrong one. But, uh... Wiseman has some dark spells. It's a thunder element type. So he can take it out pretty good. And we've gotten to using uh, the moon and the hanged man to try and slow them down from doing anything. And then just hitting them with spells. So it's just been sitting back, casting spells, trying to take these guys out. pretty crazy field but if they are in the dungeon we're getting a little better prepared that giant tortoise with the physical tolerance though has um, one shot both wise man and gardenia with a earth attack and I'm just thinking that maybe their earth resistance is so low which is why it does Okay, I should just take you right to Magic Portals. That's right. Okay. Well, let's go in the dungeon. Ride our creepy looking Melky Grunty. If you knew you were going to die tomorrow, what would you want to do? Go to sleep. It's not like I haven't thought about it before, but. I won't know until the time comes. What's wrong? Why are you asking something like that? Nothing. I just wanted to ask. But... you are right. I would want to lie in a field with flowers and quietly wait for that time to come. Yes, yeah, he's sleeping. And I will return to Mother Earth and nurture the flowers Getting a little creepy. Let's get to B3 for now. Gardenia. This takes place in Japan. I feel like she's gonna go visit a certain forest after this run. Ten 
Ravika Fubus for Blade Master. It's level 40 though, that's pretty high level. Axamovs is pretty high level too. Eagle Hood, I think we both have the Eagle Hood. I think somebody else has something different. I think I've got, yeah, I got the Fireline Hood. Let me check your stats real quick. Yeah, you have no thunder resistance, no fire resistance. Crazy, no wonder you get beat up so easy. All of the single digit resistance to elements that she has are like what we're running into. He's at negative 15 for dark. I hope we don't come into anything dark resistant. Summon a thunder. Spells. Haven't run into anything dark, so can't really use it on anything. Oh, there's that big Colossus guy. Skills. I'm gonna try and hit it with the hangman. We missed. I'm gonna try and hit it uh, with the moon. It seems to work pretty well. We just bombard it with magical spells, getting with that. May Ruba! Grunty. It's the only ingredient we're missing for the uh, Aqua Grunty. Who knows, maybe after this dungeon run we'll get it, because we're only like three golden eggs short. You asked me whether or not I liked flowers before. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. I didn't answer you back then, but I'll tell you now. The lifespan of a flower is extremely short. But in that brief moment in time, it lives with all of its might. I... Gardenia? She's like dying or something, right? Oh, make a wish, Dardania is what's happening here. Oh, uh, let's see. Fairies. Oh, it's a dragon. A water type too. We 
got some other ones that I could use. Let's hit it with the hangman paralyzing so it doesn't attack us. You bite! Just say you bite? Summon thunder, we got a lot of those. Not break it to is hoping a data trade it. Will the egg around here? No. All right, let's move on. Be back on. God, I hate these things. They're magic tools. I gotta go up through the mysticato. some of these major souls. Be wise, put back to full. Myself, back to full. And let's go. This thing is so close to us. I do not want it this close to us. Put it to sleep. So I'm not going to go any further, because if I do, it's going to activate the portal in the back. I won't do that. We struggle enough with these guys. Get 
get today to dream time. for a wave master that's in level 50 which we don't need we need 60 and above equipment stuff ha. gotta give it back to you again us out in this small little area. Give it to wise man. Stick to first aid. 
training it for the virus queen. Gonna take a free view instead. Did better on that one. Break some plasma, break some bones. Immature egg. Get the immature egg with the handlebar mustache. Go into this break room. Just so. When I stack those what? back to 99, don't you want me, lady? Restoratives already at 99. Restorative again. Lord, get it. Any notes? Sports drinks, that's what we're looking for. This whole thing, I think I only came across that one. No, it can just give us a whole bunch of restoratives. Gotti statue room, what'll be Gotti? Secret might. Ivory beret and silver scarab. It's time. It's goodbye here. Goodbye? What are you saying? Are you. No, you can't. No? There's nothing you can do about it. How can you be so selfish? Huh? Well, you said life and goodbye and I see I think there's been a huge misunderstanding I'm saying that because I am busy the amount of time I spend online is as short as a flower's life <laughs> that's all time thinking that she was dying well if you put it like that anyone would have made the same mistake would they it doesn't matter. Well, I have things I must do, so I'm going back. Call me again. So, why did we come to this area again? For the secret of might. The book. The book that we just got. We're gonna increase your attack. Pretty sure that's what that does, anyways. They could be mistaken. Adam. Yeah, secret. Might. Physical attack. Barometer plus two. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. What's it at now? 48. Woo! -hoo. Look at that accuracy, though. 99 on uh, accuracy and evasion for, for physical attacks. Even though we keep coming across a lot of magical type creatures. Oh, with the exception of those mantis knights who just beat the holy crap out of me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There we go. I don't even know what everybody else got to. I forget what Wiseman was at when he joined us. I think he was 51. He's up 54. He went up three levels. I'm at 56. That's above the level of the area by one. And Gardenia is level 55. So the same level as the area that we were at. So we're doing pretty good. What's the level of the next area? Soaring Sky, Madness Compass is level 56. Are all these just higher? There's a level 55 one. Uh, it's a golden goblin tag place. Doesn't really matter what level it is. It's just me and a, a goblin playing tag. And the keyword that we just got is level 54. Racked worst milestone. I don't know, this is the one that we just got. The one we just got is in another server. But, uh, yeah. There you have it, folks. We have taken down another area. We have leveled up. We have gotten stronger. 
And I think uh, in order to get to the area that wise man messaged us about, it's probably data protected and we're going to need some virus cores. So of course doing this, data draining as much as possible. I may even have to go on virus core quest and look for even more virus cores to get. Wouldn't that be fun? Don't you enjoy virus core hunting episodes? Because we go to areas that we've never been. Also, there's hidden areas. There's like seven or eight in this game. I don't want to say hidden areas, but like secret areas that we can go to. I need to take a look at them. I need to jot down what level these areas are. And then we're going to go to them like in between work in the word list. Because there's usually a rare item at the end of it for somebody. And I think if we get that early, it would be more beneficial than if we were to get it at the end of the game. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Outbreak. Goodbye.